The housing crisis is the biggest issue in San Diego right now. We're really behind our targets. Uh, folks are being driven out of the region, working families are being driven out of the region. It's making it harder for businesses to attract labor. Uh, it's something that we really have to tackle. The biggest issue facing San Diego is always our quality of life and, and protecting and ensuring that we provide prosperity for everybody in the city of San Diego. San Diego is, is a beautiful region, it's, it's, it's a beautiful city. I was born and raised here. I know well, the history of San Diego and all the issues confronting San Diego. But mainly, we need good leadership, good government to represent the interests of the people locally. What do they want? They want to have clean beaches. They want to have jobs, quality jobs, good paying jobs. They, they want to have a, a wonderful city that they can be proud of. The reason I'm running is because I'm actually a survivor of homelessness. Uh, as a student at UCSD, uh, my family was given a 30-day notice to leave without any reason. And that really impacted me. And obviously 30 days is not enough time to find a new place. And so I was homeless. I slept in my car. I rented a living room. I was sneaking in and out of places. And that type of voice is usually not heard in policy making to solve the San Diego housing crisis. And so we need to elevate these voices and to uh, elected offices and make sure that we get that perspective, that genuine, authentic perspective, uh, perspective while making these policies. So that's definitely what, why I'm ready. I think one of the biggest issues facing San Diego is our um, homeless issue and issues around uh, for food insecurity. I have a four-point housing plan that focuses on a lot of infrastructure and investment, streamlining development approvals, uh, focusing on opportunity zones, and um, really trying to attract more capital to the market. Uh, providing uh, the right framework, uh, creating strategies, on providing better delivery of services, essential. If we're going to tackle uh, the homeless issue, we have to create a plan to do that. If we are going to support a vibrant city, we have to have uh, a land use plan, a, a regional plan, a transportation plan, an environmental plan that accomplishes our goals as, as we see are important to our region. So everything is about proper planning and ensuring that the government is set up to uh, deliver on those promises to the people of our county. Uh, first off, community input. I feel that although the South Bay has one of the lower socioeconomic regions, um, lower uh, high school graduation rates, when we look at housing, it usually focuses in downtown and some of the northern counties. And, and I understand why, statistically speaking, they have larger pockets of homelessness, but I want to challenge what homelessness is. And we need to bring in community activists. It's not just people living on the street. It's millennials like me who don't, who don't want to be stuck living with their parents, who spend at least one full paycheck on their rent, or if some of us are lucky, a mortgage. So we need to keep challenging what homelessness is and increase the housing stock. And traditionally, the South Bay doesn't have a lot of voice while making these policies. So that's definitely what I want to do when I'm elected as a county supervisor. I really want to make sure we have a Families First equity plan for our communities to make sure that we're addressing issues of housing, homelessness, mental health, access to food insecurities. I want to make sure we get out there in the communities and make sure that our district understands firsthand what resources the county has available for.